You can copy YouTube playlists very easily, transferring all the videos from one playlist to another with just a few clicks. Let me show you how, and then let's feature some of your deserving comments and channels. Here's our Play Now playlist behind me. And if I want to copy all of these videos to another playlist, I simply click one little button that's hiding right here, these three little dots, and then I click Add All To. And now I can pick a playlist to copy everything to or create a new playlist. That's it. Play Now is a new revenue stream for you, for everybody, not just Freedom Partners. Click that eye up there to see this playlist behind me where you can watch the videos talking about Play Now as well as see examples of people using Play Now doing product reviews that earn them extra money in addition to the YouTube ad revenue. And did you notice something else? There's a new translate option where you can convert the title and description of your playlist to another language, any other language that you choose. So for example, if I want to convert this to Slovak, I simply type the language Slovak. And now YouTube lets me write my title and description in that language. And so people who are browsing YouTube in Slovak will see this as the translation, not English, when they're looking at my playlist. You can do this for any of the languages that you think your audience speaks so they can find your playlists more easily and watch your great content. You can also do this for your video titles and your descriptions. If you just go edit the settings of any video, you have the same translation options. Are you using these translation options to help you grow? Tell us in the comments below. And do you have any other tips like how to copy playlists, hidden gems that you've discovered in YouTube that perhaps others have not? Well, share those tips down there in the comments below so we can all help each other grow together as, you guessed it, a family because that is the spirit of freedom. We all help each other grow together as a family. And if you didn't already know, I am the CEO and founder of Freedom. I am George. Some call me George Sunpai. Some call me Papa George. What do you call me? Just don't call me late for dinner. Old joke. Now let's get on to featuring your deserving comments and channels. I am a fool, no, no, really, I'm not, but I am a fool wrote, hey George, I've got an important question. I joined the Freedom family and he wants to know why his next payment is set to July 31st. That's actually a bug in the dashboard, as I replied. We will fix the your next payment date soon, but in the meantime, here is our payment schedule. If you wanna know when you will get paid, click that eye up there to learn exactly when you'll get paid, but don't pay attention to the wrong next payment date in the Freedom Dashboard until we fix it. I'm so sorry about that bug. Leonor made a great suggestion to follow up on the For Narnia shout. It was something like, for freedom and for the Freedom family to be like for Narnia and for Aslan in the movie. So Leonor want me, wants me to do another one. And here is the other one. Let's have a look. Madness. This is Sparta! So for the next episode of The George Show, I will do the Sparta shout for freedom. Venomous Penguin had a critical comment saying, you are great and all, but what turns me away from the video is the unprofessionally laid out content. Do you even edit the videos? Yes, I, I do. It feels like you do it on recording. The OBS scenes and stuff, just, I don't know. He preferred the old George show with the cool bar on the left, the video bar, and the videos and all the CGI stuff. Maybe bring that back to give more color to the videos and bring some music to the videos. It's kind of playing with your voice. That's great critical feedback. We are always trying to find ways to spice up The George Show and add more interesting content. The reason I'm using this new format is because I want to show you exactly what I'm talking about. In the past, I would record my videos with a green wall behind me, and then I would add the stuff I'm talking about later. It wasn't in sync. This way, 
everything I do is right there, so it's perfectly in sync. Don't you prefer that? Obviously, you don't, but how about the rest of you? Tell me in the comments below if you agree with Venomous Penguin that the old George Show format with the video bar was better, or do you prefer this new format that I'm using OBS to record? Animesh 101 asked a great question about copyright. He wrote, George, can you say the difference between copyright strike and copyright notice? Whenever I use position music, I get a copyright notice. Really? You shouldn't be, but if you are, just email position music at freedom.tm, the link to your video and say, I'm a freedom partner, and we'll take care of it. To your question, will that copyright notice give me a copyright strike and take down my channel? No, copyright notices are just that, notices. They have no negative impact on your channel, but there is one negative impact, and that is you lose monetization for that one video that got the copyright notice. The person who made the copyright notice is the one who gets your revenue. The reasoning behind that is if you use someone else's content to make your video, they're the ones who should make the money off of it unless you have permission. And if you have permission, then they will release the copyright notice, which is exactly what we will do with anything using position music. I already replied to him saying very similarly that a copyright notice has no negative effect on your channel except you don't earn any money on the video that got the copyright notice. However, a strike has negative effects on your channel, and if you get three of them, your channel will get closed. So dispute any strikes that you get if you feel they're unfair, and they should go away if you explain why you shouldn't have that strike. Next comment is from the official DJ Super Rave Man, who wrote, George, please don't ignore this comment. Okay, do me a favor. I've commented many times on many videos, and I would like you to feature my channel. I have looked at your channel. It is a unique music-focused channel where you do remixes of old classic music as well as your own music. Let's have a look. Here is your channel behind me. You have a great colorful banner, but you're missing a trailer as well as all of the playlists that should organize the music on your channel. I noticed you didn't enable customized channel settings. Maybe you don't know how. Here's how. On your channel, click this little gear icon and then make sure customize the layout of your channel is on i think yours is off so click this button and then click save and after you do that you'll be able to choose a channel trailer as well as set up different playlists organizing your channel content into anything you want but i recommend the different genres of music or games that you feature Let's have a look at your video thumbnails. So you are featuring music from Zelda, from Mystic Quest, from Final Fantasy IX, and a lot of other games, including your own original music mixes. Let's have a look at Iron Sword, Wizards and Warriors 2. Roll it! Now this is your intro. I actually recommend don't put your intro at the beginning of your videos. It gets annoying. Just start with this. That's a classic. I loved Wizards and Warriors. It was one of my favorite RPG games. Did you play this? Tell us in the comments below. If you want to check out this channel, click that eye up there and that'll take you straight here. Who am I? You've already heard. I am George, CEO and founder of this beautiful family called Freedom. And if you like this video, click that like button down there and subscribe to this channel, Freedom Central at youtube.com slash freedom. I am George, and you've been watching... And we will grow together as a family, because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. So grow with us, and partner with Freedom. That Play Now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started.